What's up everybody, I'm Stan and welcome to Detail Comics where we go over comics in detail. I'll be the first to admit that it's a little bit difficult to buy a comic book fan like myself a present because if you're talking about possibly buying a comic book, you never know what I'm going to be interested in, you never know what stories I already have or what I've already read, and whether it's going to be a good gift or not. So let's talk about five great gifts for comic book fans that aren't comic books. So the first one we're going to talk about is collectibles, and by collectibles I mean things like this. So this is a uh, Funko collectible pop, so this is like a little bobble-headed figure, but that's what I consider a collectible. So collectibles can be those little dorbs kind of things, these Funko pops, uh, statues, and individual things that are representative of somebody's favorite characters. And because these can range from anywhere from a few dollars, you know, two, three dollars for the small miniatures, to ten dollars for something like this Funko pop, up to hundreds of dollars for these individual statues, they can be a great way to personalize this gift to an individual person. So if you know somebody that's a fan of a movie, like Doctor Strange or the Avengers or something like that, you can pick out an individual character from that movie and give that to that person. Since things like this can range between $2 and $200, make sure that you know exactly who you're going to be buying it for. Of course a loved one is worth a $150 statue, but you're not going to get that for somebody at your local gift swap. So definitely do your research before you figure that out. The second thing that we're going to talk about is art books. So something like this which is called the Art of Jacques. So this takes the opportunity to collect a lot of different art pieces as well as the works behind the art to really bring an artist together. So this is kind of like a coffee table book that enhances the experience of viewing the art. There's a lot of different features to these as well as a lot of different options when it comes to things like this. So The Art of Jock is a collection of Jock's work which includes things like movie posters, his individual comic covers, his posters, things like that, which are all collected into one issue as well as having commentary about the artistic process and how his career has gone. So this is a really co a collection of the actual artist itself. Uh, another option could be something like, uh, you know, DC's Comics Unwrapped, which could be like the Court of Owls. So if you're a really big fan of Greg Capullo's art or the Court of Owls story, which is going to go down as one of the best Batman stories in recent history, you can get something like that, which shows the raw pencil nature underneath that in a hardcover bound. Since these can range between, say, $20, which is just a little bit more than a trade paperback, to about $100, which is a little bit less than an omnibus, this is a really great solution to get somebody that's a comic book fan a little bit more in touch with the artists that they actually enjoy. The third thing that we're going to talk about is actual comic book art. So comic book art can be interpreted in a few different ways. So comic books, they have uh, covers, they have interiors, they've got different artists. So if you want to get one of the simplest representations, there's a lot of different posterized versions of actual comic book covers. So you've got seminal works like uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 122 or the first appearance of Iron Man or other different covers that have been converted into small posters that are framed, unframed, however you want to get them. And then you can actually step up from there into actual physical original comic book art or reproductions of comic book art. So this is one of those situations where you can either go for something pretty small, easy to hang on the wall, something that somebody can consider a, a small little set piece for their collection, or if you really love the person that you're buying it for, you could go whole hog and spend thousands on actual original art, art covers and things like that. So I've got a couple links down in the description to give you a little bit more of these wall hanging pieces, some of the pretty general stuff that it's easy easy to move around the house without spending a whole heck of a lot of money. The number four thing that you can give to your favorite comic book fan would be tickets to a local event. So there's often a lot of cons, you know, smaller ones, larger ones, main national kind of comic cons that really host a whole bunch of different kind of artists, a bunch of different vendors, and a lot of different places where you can actually get these kind of collectibles, art books, and other things that are associated with comic book fandom. So one of the things you can do is actually surprise the person that you care about with tickets to a local event. So that, that way, as long as you plan them far enough in advance, that way they can take the appropriate time off. They're probably planning on going already, and it's just a great way for like you and that person or that person themselves to experience the environment that they know and they love. You know, everybody here is a big fan of Comic Cons. Like, I'm going to go to Boston Comic Con. There's a couple other ones that are currently in my area. And you know what? I would love to go to San Diego or New York. And if somebody sprung me some tickets for those, oh my God. That would be ridiculous. But these are all things that, you know, like myself, I'm a comic book fan, and I would appreciate any of these kind of gifts so far. But if everything kind of runs out for options, you can always go with number five. And number five would be gift cards. So you can either go with gift cards to someplace like Books A Million, Barnes & Noble. Amazon is always a great place because Amazon gift cards, you can use them on Amazon products and items where you can actually just get them shipped and whatnot, uh, like trade paperbacks. And there's also the ability to kind of use Amazon ones on Comixology if they want to redeem them for digital comics. So gift cards are always a great opportunity, especially if you don't necessarily know what the person's really going to be into. They're not quite into statues and collectibles. They've already got a whole bunch of different comic book art. 
you know, they're not into like these coffee table type books, and you don't really know what events are local to them or when they're going to be happening. So gift cards are always the great last option for a gift for a comic book fan. So I've included a bunch of different links down in the description for a lot of great ideas regarding gifts for comic book fans that aren't necessarily comic books. Uh, you know, this video is not sponsored in any way, but if you do buy something that does help out the channel, uh, as always, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe right there to get more news on comic books, uh, comic book movies, comic book TV shows and games, and anything and everything inside the world of comics.